Health alert. A breath test could prove to be a game changer for detecting stomach cancer. Our chief health editor, Dr. Partha Nandy, joining us now with more on how all of this works. And this is fascinating. Huge. It is game changer indeed. This new research uh, actually promise, uh, promises really worldwide changes. Now, 1.4 million cases of stomach and esophageal cancer are diagnosed every year. And these cancers are often found too late because there are no early warning signs. Unfortunately, there's only a 15% chance of a five-year survival. But a new test may change these stats. A research team collected breath samples from over 300 patients with and without those cancers. The accuracy rate was 85%, so really great news. So how does it work? Yeah, so yeah. what we do, Glenda, is that the cancer cells are different from healthy ones, so a different mixture of chemicals gets produced. This test was able to measure levels of five chemicals in the breath. The researchers plan to conduct a larger trial to see how accurately the test performs before deciding if it can be used in patients everywhere. But and very I'm, encouraging. Yeah, I guess this is going to help with early detection. A lot of folks do not necessarily want to go in for a colonoscopy or something like this. This may be the gateway to that. What are your prescriptions? It's absolutely. So in addition to that, everyone should take steps to lower their risk of any type of cancer. Number one, avoid smoking, people. It can really cause many types of cancer and also block your body from fighting it. Also, we talk about all the time, regular exercise is important. It may be a protective factor for some types of cancer and is associated with a reduced risk for stomach cancer. Also, eat a healthy diet. Make sure you get plenty of fruits and vegetables, which can really help. And else, lastly, limit your alcohol. Women can have one drink a day and men can have two drinks daily. And that also helps with your, with your risk of cancer. So if you're concerned about stomach or esophageal cancer, how does it get diagnosed now? So, so Glenda, right now the only way to diagnose stomach and esophageal cancer is with endoscopy. I do this test. It's a flexible okay. tube sent down in your throat while you're asleep so into the stomach as well so you can see the digestive tract. If you're suffering with feeling bloated after eating or feeling full after eating small amounts of food or have stomach pain, unrelenting heartburn or indigestion, if you have difficulty swallowing or have stomach pain, then should make an appointment to talk these symptoms over your doctor and really can find it. But what's encouraging to me and what really excites me is I see some of these patients die because we don't have an early diagnosis, and this could be the key. All right. All right. Thank you, Doc. Thank hey, you. my pleasure. If you got a question or health concern for the good doctor, you can email him at drnandy at wxyz.com or send it to us on Facebook or Twitter.